Hi everyone and happy Tuesday. My name is Kyle. I'm here with Makers Mercantile and I'm going to talk with you about the things in today's newsletter. So the first item that we're going to talk about is a, uh, a kit. It's sort of a limited uh, offering kit. It is um, these really, really cute um, gloves called Outfoxed by Erica Hauser. So here are the Outfoxed. I mean, how cute. It's adorable. And of course, you know, I love it because I love color work. But um, just one of these I can show you has a cute little foxy fox on uh, the one side, I suppose, with its tail wrapping around to the other side. There's some fun color work going on here with just two colors of yarn. On the inside, I'll go ahead and flip this inside out. Um, a special thank you to Becky for uh, sharing her mitts with us that she just finished recently. Um, turn these right side out and you're going to see um, Becky actually uses the technique of locked floats, which is really wonderful. Um, but since the pattern is so um, involved with the exception of maybe like a longish run right about here, there aren't a whole lot of floats here. So just trapping locking floats wherever they seem to be getting a little too long would be really great for this project. Um, and uh, Becky chose a yarn called Albolino, which is fantastic. It is from uh, from Sheppel in two different colors. So here are the two different colors that uh, that Becky chose, right? And one ball, like one ball each, of course, of the colors is going to be more than enough to make a couple pairs, maybe even three pairs of this. And so um, Albolino is 85% um, wool, uh, virgin wool, and um, 15% linen. So it's an 85-15 yarn. And the thing that makes it really awesome is the linen itself. If I get really close and hold still, you can see those little light bits. That's the linen. It adds a bit of strength to the yarn and it is really, really wonderful and soft. So there are um, four different colorways and you'll see uh, which name is which on the um, on the website, but I believe this one is uh, Finnick Fox. And then uh, I'm gonna guess, I think it's this guy here. Uh, this is called Arctic Fox, which is a beautiful um, blue with a nice tan. So there's Arctic Fox. And of course, uh, you could decide which one you want your fox to be. I'm sort of guessing that this will be the fox and this might be the background color. And in this case, um, this really beautiful greeny color would be the background and the fox itself would be silver fox. There's silver fox. And then the fourth colorway is called sand fox, which um, they're sort of a, they're actually a little more probably brown than this, but whatever, little, little uh, liberty with the colors, but this is called sand fox and you could make the fox be yellow or the background be yellow with this lovely mocha chocolatey color as the, as the background. So those are the four different colorways. We have limited uh, collect, um, offerings, quantities of each of these. So when they do sell out, I'm not sure that I'll be able to restock them anytime soon. So if you do like one of these, you wanna make these awesome uh, little mitts by Erica Hauser, be sure to grab your favorite colorway while you can. So that is the Outfoxed Mitts and it's made with Albolino. So next to me, you can see uh, this piece here is called, what was it called? Yeah, it's called Jamie. Jamie is a very nice, uh, just a very simple sweater knit out of Albolino designed by James Cox. And this is the, what is Kyle wearing? We always ask what Karin's wearing, what's Kyle wearing? I'm wearing the lace, um, the lace blocks stole, which is a free pattern. We'll throw that in uh, in the newsletter as well so you can download it. So that's what this is. It's a really nice linen-y um, uh, scarf, which you can make whatever size you want. This is uh, done in that color that comes in that silver fox thing. Uh, this takes two balls of yarn. Um, the sweater takes four in the small size. So those are the other little additional Albino things that I found and I wanted to share with you. So moving on from the outfoxed mitts, we will talk about the fox paws. Get it? Because we're all foxy here today. So the fox paws project bag. So this is a drawstring project bag that we um, worked with Zandy Peters to 
uh, create a, a number of different colorways using Zandi's actual uh, image of Zandi's actual knitted product or finished piece. And the colors were manipulated, but when we look at this really close, it looks like the knitted product. So these have, of course, a nice uh, white interior on them, and they are drawstring, as uh, you may have seen before. They are uh, printed and cut and sewn in our in our shop now in our print lab. So here is one colorway. I just grabbed a couple different ones. I love this sort of acidy yellowish green. So here's this colorway here. Um, this color is called Chartreuse on the website. And then uh, the last one that I pulled was this blue and green, which is called Teals. Teals, Teal number seven. So there's lots of these to check out the Fox Paws project bags, which are super fun. So you could get a Fox Paws bag and put your mitten, your fingerless mitts uh, materials in there to work. So you have your project bag, you have your yarn, you have the pattern, of course, because when we buy a kit, we're going to include the yarn and um, the pattern, um, a printed copy. And if you provide a, a Ravelry ID, we'll put the pattern in your library. If you provide your email, which you will, because that's part of checking out, we'll um, link it to that email. So either way, uh, you'll get a copy of the pattern as well. So that's a gift for you. But you also need a way to actually knit the things, right? So a lot of people will use circular needles. Um, I am a fan of double points and these, are the Rocket Square DPNs, which I'm going to pull one out of here and show you what's so cool about these. So they come in a set of five and come out of here. Um, they are, of course, made by Addy in Germany. So here is what the double point looks like. And it has that really awesome texture on it. And it is the same sort of squared shape with the texture as you've come to love uh, with all of the Rocket Square stuff. The one thing that's a little bit different I want to show you is right here there's a bit of a join. So they take two different tips and fit them together. So there is a, um, a piece of a metal between the two inside, but the join is very smooth so you won't notice that as you're working. So if you like working with double point needles, check out the Rocket Square um, DPNs and give them a try. Now, of course, I pulled a, a US 6, a four millimeter to show you because the size is a little bit larger. The smaller diameter that the needle is, the uh, less pronounced the texturing is, or less um, the, the texturing is um, on, the, on the needle. So the amount of uh, indentations varies from one size to another. So check those out as well. Um, and uh, if you are interested in working with double points because they are super fun. The last thing I wanted to mention is, of course, this is a chart-based project, right? So you're working, remember the little fox, the foxy fox? So one of the things that I love and a lot of other folks also really love is this highlighter tape. So here's the highlighter tape. We have it in a number of different colors. This one is obviously orange and there's a green. Um, here's a pinky one and here's a blue. So there's a few different colors. I'm not sure if I grabbed all of them or not when I got these to show you today. Um, but this works really well. You pull it off and it is sort of like a high, it's like a highlighter in a tape that is removable. And so what I like to do is I will highlight the row that I'm working on and I'll fold the edge of the tape over just a little bit so it's easier to remove and reposition as I'm working from one round to the next. So uh, check that out if you're interested in that highlighter tape. It is, I think, really useful um, for those of us who still work with printed patterns. So that is it. It's a, uh, a foxy Tuesday, I guess. So um, check out the uh, kits, get them while you can, have fun doing whatever it is that you're doing this week. And we do have some exciting uh, other projects and things coming up. So check in with us again on Friday and we will have uh, some more fun and adventures to share with you. Until then, stay safe, reach out to your friends and family, and um, we will see you on Friday, right? Bye-bye.